One of our favorite ways to explore a new country is through the food. I've been researching Colombian food for the past two weeks and I'm so excited to dig in. While we don't have Mark Ween's adventurous style of taste buds, we do like to be explorative through our eating while we travel. So without further ado, here's 10 foods you have to try if you're visiting Colombia for the first time. Let's go eat. They're really good. Obviously, we're gonna talk about arepas first. Arepas are everywhere in Colombia. You'll find them even when you aren't looking. These deliciously crispy white corn cakes are served with breakfast in a mini version aside a meal or stuffed with a filling as a meal of their own. And even though this restaurant is technically Venezuelan, we'd be remiss not to shout out this incredible chicken and avocado arepa from Cumano Bistro in Salento. Next up is ayaco, which is a filling potato and chicken soup, which is usually served with an ear of corn. This was the first thing we ate in Bogota, and it instantly cured the little bit of altitude sickness we were feeling. We enjoyed this at the historic La Puerta Falsa restaurant that have been serving up delicious food for centuries. Well, at La Puerta Falsa, you also need to try a tamale. These are not the little corn husk tamales you're thinking of. They have an entire drumstick in them. These gigantic corn tamales are wrapped in a banana leaf and should not be missed. Bendeja Paisa is the national dish of Colombia. It consists of Colombian sausage, ground beef, rice, beans, a fried pork rind, and arepa, a slice of avocado, and a fried egg. It is so much food. We had the traditional version at Bacones de Air in Salento, and they also had a vegetarian alternative that was equally incredible. Muy bien. Muy delicioso. Empanadas are another food that you can find basically everywhere you look in Colombia. These deep fried maize pockets, so crunchy, come with a variety of fillings from beef to chicken and even vegetarian options. They're a great street food to grab as a snack as you explore. So something different about the empanadas here in Colombia is that they are actually like a corn base and fried corn. So rather than the dough and maybe like the Spanish or Mexican empanadas, they are absolutely delicious, so crunchy and obviously greasy. <laughs> this is a pollo empanada. They also have beef, potato, lots of different fillings, but very delicious. There are so many delicious fresh juices, jugo de fruta, available in cafes, restaurants, and street vendors. You have the option to get the juice in water or in milk. We started getting it with water, but once we had them in milk, we were hooked. We love that frothy smoothie texture. One you have to try is Lulada, a Colombian specialty fruit juice drink. Farmer's Lemonade is where they use raw sugar cane boiled in the water before adding the lemons. This just hits different after a long hike. Up next is Patacones Gigantes, which is basically a massive fried plantain chip. These crispy chips can be ordered with toppings, including pork, cheese, veggies, and sauces. We ordered ours with ogajo and guacamole. Ogajo is a traditional Colombian Creole sauce made with tomatoes, onions, scallions, and spices. Just break off a chip, top, and enjoy. Or if you have no manners like Garrett, pick it up and bite it. All right, one of the things we've been most excited to try in Colombia is coffee. So we're gonna go check out a local coffee shop serving Colombian coffee. We visited so many awesome local coffee shops in Bogota and Salento, so we'll just post a summary of our favorites here. But the best way to experience this is with a visit to one of the many coffee farms in the Colombian Coffee Triangle. We visited Salento and did a full coffee farming tour. If you wanna see that experience, make sure to watch this video. I'm a Colombian coffee farmer. Next up is pan de queso, a traditional Colombian roll made with tapioca flour and grated cheese. The tapioca and cheese make these pillowy rolls just the right amount of chewy and salty. Pretty really good. The best place to try these rolls or pan de bono, another popular option, is Casa del Pan in Salento. And coming in at number 10 on our list are cocadas. Cocada, it's like a coconut cookie. Listen to me when I say these were so good I stockpiled for the trip home. If you bring these home for your friends and family, everyone will love you. It's very sweet, but not too chewy, but not real firm. It has a just right new sweetness and that coconut flavor comes in. Don't eat it all, I want some. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Check out the video description for a bunch of helpful links, including details on all our favorite food stops on this trip. Thanks so much for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.